time for us to kind of aim for the stars. I think it's all about time. Now is the time of great promise. Now is the moment in time. We're at an inflection point, and that inflection point says to us, if we can do the right thing, we can make huge differences. Every day, I ask myself, and I know my colleagues at the NAM, ask, how can we make a difference? The mission of the National Academy of Medicine is to accelerate the progress of science, medicine, health, and policy. We are the most trusted independent evidence advisor. We're the first organization that says we should sequence the human genome. And believe it or not, we were the organization that pointed out that AIDS is an epidemic. So we've always in the forefront addressing the issue. And that's why we're so excited about taking on longevity and aging. It is the grand challenge of the time. Uh, longevity is quite possibly the most compelling challenge that we face as a society today. We need a healthcare revolution. How do we actually make that person well for their whole life and for a much longer life? That is the revolution we need. We need revolutions on many levels, and I think that this is a, a goal, and one of the few goals, that is really worthy of the best of our community. What is more valuable than being able to have a healthy aging? Rather than people dying of cancer and dying of aging and dying of heart attack, like people will keep living and contributing and growing. And the potentials of science today are breathtaking. You know, in the end, this won't be a story about old age. This is going to be a story about long life, and it's ours to write. And, you know, we really have to make sure that we work to make it happen. We do it now. We can't be complacent. At this juncture, we really now, I think, can extend life in very meaningful ways. And I think the, the bigger interest really is in how we can live a very long life, but be healthy. The idea is to live healthy, being functional, being productive, and being free of disease. Well, now is the time because scientists are making so many discoveries all the time that really hard problems are going to be cracked. We're living in a day and age where we have the potential right now to crack the code. Longevity science seems to be really poised for a revolution. So the goal is to really do something that's different. Be willing to be that first volunteer, that first person that jumps out and says, hey, let's try this. Stretch the boundaries of our current thinking and allow us to look at the world upside down, which may be the right view of a complex problem. There's so much waiting for us if we get to stick around. I'm dying to see what's behind the door that's currently occluding our view. What if the system we have right now is the second best idea we ever came with? We may be stuck in one of these adaptive valleys, to use an evolutionary term, where we can't see over the hills, so we can't see that there's a much better system out there. Who can help us solve this? Who can help humanity solve these key issues? I think that this search to overcome any and all of our boundaries is the human spirit at its best. That will be, I think, our ultimate triumph. This is now the National Academy of Medicine that's getting involved uh, and taking a leadership role in helping reshape everything we know about longevity. So this is definitely the time to push new directions.